everyone. So I'm Martina from Sweden, live in Switzerland. I must admit that I have a little bit of a travel bug. I love uh, traveling to new locations to explore the history, the culture, the different environments in uh, different continents around the world. But it takes me a very long time to fly intercontinentally. So if I want to go all the way to New Zealand, I actually looked it up. It's going to take me 30 hours to go there and I need to take between three to four different flights. There has been a lot of developments in the aviation industry and thanks to airplanes we can actually reach these far off places. It makes the world a lot more connected than what it ever was before. We can go to practically every country around the world. But another issue is that it emits a lot of carbon dioxide emissions. About 2.5% of all carbon dioxide emissions comes from the aviation industry. And this is something that we want to change at Destinus. So we are building a new type of aircraft that is a sort of a mix between a rocket and an airplane. It's, a, it's an airplane that can fly at hypersonic velocities, five times the speed of sound. So it means that you can get all the way from Paris to New Zealand, direct flight, in just four hours. That is the goal, that's what we're trying to do. And we're doing this by leveraging the unique properties of hydrogen. So hydrogen is a clean fuel. It doesn't emit any carbon dioxide emissions when you combust it, and you can also produce it in a clean way. Hydrogen is the core thing of our technologies. We're also developing some infrastructures that relate to hydrogen and some other technologies relating to uh, gas turbines, storage tanks, as well as propulsion systems. There were actually 4 billion people that traveled in 2019 and there's going to be an additional 4 billion people traveling by 2035 and we see that there's more and more people wanting to go to far off places. So this is something that we really want to make a difference in in the aviation industry because we need to make it clean and we also need to make sure that people are able to, to connect more. So why did we choose hydrogen? 75% of the mass in the universe consists of hydrogen, so it's an abundant resource. You can get hold of it from splitting water into H2 and O. And if you do that with renewable electricity, you're doing it in a sustainable way. And then when you combust it, the main uh, outcomes that you get from that is heat and water. So when it comes to long range mobility, not just for airplanes, but also for trucks or marine vessels or buses, hydrogen is a really good fuel to use. We see that in other mobility sectors, there has been a lot of developments in terms of speed. When it comes to trains, they are traveling 10 times faster than what they did in the 1950s. But when it comes to airplanes, they are still traveling below the speed of sound. We don't have any commercial airplanes today that are traveling above the speed of sound. So now is the time to really innovate when it comes to speed in the aviation industry. We are building this new aircraft it looks a little bit different than the ones that you've seen before. We have a few different technologies that we are developing in-house in order to make this possible, including the hydrogen storage tanks, as well as the propulsion system. And we're doing a lot on the structural and material side as well. The shape of the aircraft looks a little bit different than what you've seen before. It's called a wave rider. And the benefits of this shape is that it has this, this um, curve that helps you ride the shock wave that comes from flying at supersonic or hypersonic velocities, which means that you're increasing the lift, and that way you can decrease the fuel consumption and get the more efficient flight. In terms of the propulsion system, it will be fully fueled by hydrogen from takeoff all the way to hypersonic velocities using conventional turbojet engines converted to hydrogen, and then ramjets that we are developing in-house. We are also implementing an active cooling system. This is a patented technology. So we're using liquid hydrogen at minus 250 degrees Celsius to decrease the heat of this vehicle. So we have developed a lot of the technologies in-house already. Beyond the two prototypes that are flying, we have also set up a test facility in Switzerland where we are testing with hydrogen right now and we're gonna be expanding this infrastructure. We're also doing another test facility in Spain. Our first product, Destinus S. It's a 25-seater aircraft 
that we're looking to introduce in the early 2030s. And it can fly you from Paris to New York in one and a half hours. So we're flying three times faster than the Concorde with this vehicle. We have a team of about 140 people. We are based in Switzerland, Spain, France, Germany, and recently the Netherlands as well, because we just acquired a company there that is building gas turbines. And if I can leave you with one message, that is that I challenge you to imagine the future that you want for yourself and for your children and to go ahead and build it. No matter how complex it is, if you make one step towards making this future a possibility, it's already a win. Thank you.